It was in 1917 that the British Foreign Secretary Lord Balfour promised to establish a national home for Jewish people inside Palestine. The Balfour Declaration, as it came to be known, was viewed with suspicion by the Arabs right from the start, but their concerns were to be ignored after the Holocaust gave European Jews an urgency to find a home. And so the State of Israel was born, and immediately thousands of Jewish refugees entered the country, many of them secular Jews with no connection to the land, but all desperately seeking to establish a Jewish state. It inevitably created a problem for the indigenous Palestinian population and indeed their Arab neighbors. They viewed Israel as a state created on stolen land and vehemently opposed the end of Muslim sovereignty over what is Islam's third holiest site, Jerusalem. For Israel's Arab neighbors, they contested the creation of an American satellite state in the Middle East and one that is armed to the teeth by U.S. supplied weapons. All this led to a total of eight wars in Israel's 59-year history, and in each conflict, Israel has maintained and extended its territories with the help, of course, of its superpower ally. But underneath big conflicts that make the headlines, there's been the ongoing occupation of Palestinian territories. Nearly half a million Jewish homes form part of the settlements in the West Bank. And even though Israel held its withdrawal from the Gaza Strip in 2005, many see that as a strategic move rather than a hand of peace. The high-profile withdrawal from this deeply impoverished strip provided cover for the annexing of yet more land from the West Bank. And there remains wider opposition to Israel, not just from countries that it occupies, but from countries like Bangladesh and Malaysia, who simply have no diplomatic ties with it. At the end of 59 years, the Israeli state says it's created a home to displace Jews from around the world. They enjoy a high standard of living. They boast of democracy and civil freedoms. But Israel has gone from being a possible sanctuary to what is now the most dangerous place for Jews in the world, a killing machine that's constantly embroiled in conflict with its neighbors. It's caused a massive refugee crisis by forcing the expulsion of thousands of Palestinians who now live in third world conditions. It's building a wall around their homes, making it even more difficult for movement. And it frequently invades or launches airstrikes on Palestinian homes, imprisoning their men, women and children. And despite various peace agreements, the Zionist state has refused to address key issues like the Palestinians' right of return or the status of Jerusalem as a capital city for a future Palestinian state. As far as military strength and standards of living goes, in 59 years Israel has raced ahead, achieving more than other countries can in centuries. But when it comes to diplomacy with its neighbors and justice for the Palestinians, this is a country that is still crawling towards peace. I shall take over Egypt. I have now taken, taken over the peninsula in Egypt. Ah, liquor is mine. Hey, can I have my land back? Sure, you can have your land, but you have to, you have to declare us as a state. Ah, okay. Wait, where do I sign? Just so, set the club on fire. Just so.